Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home automation with me, your host, Paul Hibbert, and welcome to an apology for my apology video. Uh, so last week I put out a video to show you how you could get the audio from YouTube to stream to Alexa uh, and out of your speakers, and I thought, wicked, that's free, people like free stuff, and then I realised it was going to cost you money, pooped my pants and took it back down again. Uh, so the developer for that skill has been working all week to make this a reality for you so it is now completely free. Uh, basically the audio being transferred from YouTube to Dropbox uh, and then across the internet costs some people some money. And those some people don't want to spend that money, they want you to spend that money. Uh, the money doesn't go to me, it doesn't go to the creator of that skill, it goes to Dropbox I think. Or maybe YouTube or maybe Amazon. It goes to one of those three people. Uh, so what he's been doing, he's figured out a way that this is free up to a gig, uh, and then once you reach that gig limit, you then pay for the skill for some nominal amounts for every gig thereafter. Uh, so it should cost you nothing unless you absolutely hammer it, and if you do hammer it, it will warn you when you reach a gig that you're about to start spending money, and it won't go any further and won't let you continue to spend your money unless you very specifically ask it to do so by using the Starship Enterprise self-destruct code. Because... He's a nerd, and I'm a nerd, and we like that sort of thing. So before we start, a few things. First one is this video moves very quickly indeed. Uh, I would recommend having one device to follow this video and another device for programming the skill up. Otherwise, you're going to get lost. You need to be able to press that pause button, I promise. Second of all, this skill does involve creating a developer account with Amazon if you don't have one already. They will ask for your credit card. I've already explained why that is. Don't come shouting at me, I can't wait to give my credit card to people on the internet. It's Amazon. Get over it. I promise it's safe. Third and final point, if you don't like watching videos, why are you here? Um, but seriously, there is a link in the description which will take you to the guy who made this as GitHub account, and in that GitHub account is a README, which is some written instructions to follow instead, in case you hate my face or something. Finally, I want to say a massive thank you to the guy that made this skill, but I can't, he won't let me. Uh, he has literally said he wants to remain anonymous for his own reasons, uh, and therefore I can only hint that he is the guy that made some really cool skills that are in my previous videos. Wink wink. So that's enough of me blathering on. Uh, here is a complete video of me blathering on for about 16 minutes or so, uh, but this blathering on will probably be helpful instead of just annoying. Enjoy. Okay, so I'm just going to try and breeze through this without uh, any kind of a dry run, so this is almost 100% definitely going to go wrong. But the first thing we need to do is uh, visit this address. And you'll have to sign in if you've not signed in already. Uh, you may have to sign up, I guess, if you aren't already signed up. So I know nothing about what we're about to do. I'm not going to pretend that I do. This is somebody else's work, as usual. Um, basically, if you visit this address, I think what we're doing is we're creating a link into YouTube to then link Alexa into. So I think we're linking a link into a link and then into Alexa. Uh, so we're going to go to Google. I'm going to click this plus button here to create a new project. We're going to call this my YouTube plugin. I don't think it matters particularly, but you might need to take a note of what you've called it. I'd recommend just using the same thing I've used. I'm actually going to copy the instructions uh, word for word, letter for letter, so I'm going to put in all the capitals as they are in the instructions that I'm following. Uh, I'm going to press create, and we now need to enable the YouTube data API, so we need to go here, and click the enable button. We need to go to the credentials tab, we need to click create credentials, and then API key, and then you need to copy this API key to your clipboard and put it into a notepad file because we're going to need it later on. I'm going to put in my notepad file here that this is my YouTube key, so I remember later on what it is. You want to then click Restrict Key. Okay, we're going to be using Dropbox to temporarily store the MP3 files that are generated from YouTube that Alexa is going to play. So we need to have a Dropbox account already, of course. If you haven't got one, just sign up for one, it's free. And if you visit this address, uh, this is the developer area where we can create our Dropbox authentication token. So we just click on My Apps, and then Create App. Select Dropbox API, and click Full Dropbox, and we'll just call this YouTube. Agree to the terms and conditions, and press Create App. 
So as you can see, it needs a uh, an app name that's not already been used by somebody else. So I would use a string of numbers that you can remember. So I'm just going to call this YouTube 11245 and then click Create App. It's going to put in my uh, notepad file here, Dropbox app name. Just in case I need it again. Okay, we now need to generate our access token, so press generate here. And we now have our access token to copy to our clipboard and put again in our notepad file. So now we have both a link into YouTube and we have ourselves a, a Dropbox storage space where the temporary MP3s can be stored as it downloads them from YouTube for Alexa to be able to play from Dropbox. Okay, next thing we need to do is visit this address. Again, this address will be in the description for the video. And you go to clone or download and then download zip. And you're going to want to put this somewhere on your desktop. So I'm going to create myself a folder on my desktop. And we'll just call it YouTube skill. Then if I go show in folder and then drag that my folder on my desktop and I'm going to extract the files here. So these are the files that we're going to upload to the uh, Amazon developer portal which is going to create the skill uh, and so the next place we're going to visit is the AWS portal for Amazon. If you don't have an account with Amazon already for AWS you'll need to uh, sign up for one. So at this point, Amazon are going to ask you for your credit card. Uh, this isn't anything to worry about. Amazon are asking in case you intend to create a skill that is going to require some money from you. This particular skill uses Dropbox rather than Amazon servers to transfer the data and therefore won't cost you anything. You will need to sign up with your existing Amazon details that you used to sign up for Alexa with because Alexa is going to be linked to this skill. Uh, super important. Uh, I've forgotten to do this many a time in the past and it really does hurt if you don't do it. You'll need to either select EU Island or US East North of Virginia. If you don't select one of these two things, if you select any of the others, then you won't be able to follow these instructions. Don't pick wherever you are, just pick the place that you're closest to out of these two, EU Island or US East North Virginia. Next, you want to go to services. Uh, I've been to Lambda before, so I've got it in my history. If you don't have it in your history because you've never done anything like this before, just search for Lambda and you'll find it. So I've got a few things in here already from previous skills that I've created. See my previous videos if you want to create any of those cool things. Uh, create a Lambda function is where we're going to go. Blank function, and we're going to select the Alexa skills kit. And what we're doing is we're telling uh, Amazon that it's going to be Alexa that invokes this skill. Click Next. You want to name the Lambda function YouTube, all in lowercase letters. Super important that you follow every instruction exactly as I've done it, so all in lowercase, all in one word. Set the description as YouTube, capital Y, rest in lowercase. Set the runtime to Node.js 6.10. If it's something else because you're living in the future, uh, I would still select Node.js 6.10 to be on the safe side. In code entry type, choose upload a zip file, because that's what we're going to do, and then press the upload button. So I left it on my desktop, so that's where I'm going to go now. I'm going to go to the YouTube skill, which is where I unzipped my files to, and this is way important. Uh, I will punch you in the head if you try and upload this. Do not upload this zip file. Upload the one that you extracted. So you need to go into the folder that you extracted, and select this zip file. Do not select this zip file, you will upset yourself, uh, and more importantly, you'll upset me when you come asking me questions about why it hasn't worked. Don't select that zip file. Go into the files you've extracted and select the index zip file, index zip file. I'll say it one more time, uh, index zip file. I won't really punch you in the head, I like you. Okay, we're going to create a couple environment variables. So in the first key, put in API underscore key, all in capital letters. Capital letters is important. And the second one, Dropbox token with an underscore, all in capital letters. And these two values, you may have guessed already, are our uh, keys. And this is so the skill can authenticate against YouTube. 
and against Dropbox. Leave Handler as index.handler and under Role choose Create a Custom Role. Make sure this is selected as Create New I Am Role. You can leave this as it is and press Allow. If at this point you get an error message that the name already exists, it's probably because you've installed a skill created by somebody awesome such as Ross uh, who made the Google search skill and what you'll need to do is just rename it to something else. So just put a one on the end and that should suffice. Expand advanced settings. So in memory we need to change this slider to 384 meg. Timeout is one minute and zero seconds. And then just press the little next button at the bottom of the page. Finally click create function and then wait. If you get an error message about this uh, taking too long or timing out, it means that your upload speed uh, being provided by your internet service provider is garbage. <laughs> get a better ISP would be my recommendation, uh, although there is another way of achieving this. Uh, again, if you go to the dude's GitHub where we downloaded these files from and follow the written instructions, there's some instructions there on how you can do this via a different method uh, using an S3 bucket. Um, if your internet connection isn't garbage, then you should get this page. Okay, this ARN at the very top here, you need to copy because you're going to need it again shortly. So I'm going to put that into my notepad file. I'm just going to call it AWS ARN. And that is the Lambda portion of the skill setup. We now need to create the uh, Alexa skill itself, the thing that is going to be listening to your commands. Uh, so we're going to leave this window open just in case we need to come back to it to get any information. And we're going to open up a new tab and we're going to visit this address. And again, this address will be in the description. Uh, you'll have to sign up for this if you don't have one already. Um, I already have one, so I'm just going to sign in. Again, use the same email address that you use for Alexa. Okay, so click on the Alexa tab if you're not in here already, and then click on Get Started under Alexa Skills Kit. I've got a few things in here already because I've done some pretty awesome things with Alexa, um, and I'm going to add a new skill here alongside the existing ones. Make sure you've got Custom Interaction Model dotted. Set the language as either English US if you're in the US or English UK if you're in the UK. Unfortunately, German is not supported as of the time of making this video on the 18th of July 2017. Hopefully by the time you've come to this, Germany, you will have no problem. At the moment, you will have, unfortunately, and you will only be able to choose English UK or English US. Set the name of the skill to YouTube skill for Alexa, like that, all in one word, capital Y, capital S, capital A, exactly as I've done there. The invocation name needs to be all in lowercase letters and it's YouTube. Set the audio player setting to yes. Leave these two set to no and press save. And then press next. The intent schema will be in the description for my video. You need to copy and paste it exactly as it is here. In the custom slot types, type in capital letters search. And in the values, copy in exactly as I've got in my description again. And click add. Copy the sample utterances from my description and paste them into here exactly as I have. Click save. And then we can press next. You need to dot AWS Lambda A or N. If you're in Europe, select Europe. If you're not, select North America. And then we need to paste in our A or N exactly as it is there into this field here. Make sure account linking is selected as no. Click save again, and then click next. There is no need to complete any uh, more of this information. This is the AWS portion completed. You press next, and then next, and then save. That's it kids, you are done. It is that simple, you are finished. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see some more of this guy, then hit that subscribe button. Uh, and if you wanna help support my channel, as usual, the links are in the description for where you can give me some money. Uh, that's it, I'll see you next time.